The rupees 39.5 trillion mutual fund sector is in the midst of new fund offer frenzy. Since July 1st, the industry has issued more than 70 NFOs. Many NFOs have been quite effective in the previous two years, generating large flows during the NFO period. The surge in popularity and performance of NFOs was ascribed to new investment strategies that did not previously exist in the market. However, an investor must also take caution that most mutual fund NFOs tend to congregate around market peaks. During the 2006-2007 era, we witnessed a slew of mutual fund NFOs, the majority of which took a long time to complete. Similarly, during the height of the IT bubble in 2000, practically every fund had formed an IT fund, with the majority of these NFOs seeing up to 80-90% to value depletion by 2002. So, here are the four NFOs coming up this week. The SBI Small Cap 250 Index Fund the ICICI Prudential Auto Index Fund, ABSL Multi Index FOF, SBI Mid Cap 150 Index Fund. Let's have a look at these NFOs one by one. Let's first have a look at the SBI Small Cap 250 Index Fund and SBI Mid Cap 150 Index Fund. So the benchmark for SBI Small Cap 250 Index Fund is the Nifty Small Cap 250 Tri and the benchmark for SBI Mid Cap 150 Index Fund is the Nifty Mid Cap 150 Tri. The fund manager is Mr. Harsh Sethi. The minimum investment amount is Rs 5,000 and in multiples of 1. The NFO open and close dates are 21st September to 26th September 2022. Alright, so let's talk about the funds now. The SBI mutual fund has increased its presence in the passive investing category with the introduction of two new funds. The SBI Nifty Mid Cap 150 Index Fund and the SBI Nifty Small Cap 250 Index Fund. So how will the fund houses select companies for investment? These schemes will adopt a passive investment strategy. SBI Nifty Mid Cap 150 Index Fund and SBI Nifty Small Cap 250 Index Fund are open-ended schemes that would attempt to replicate the performance of underlying indices, which are the Nifty Mid Cap 150 Index and the Nifty Small Cap 250 Index. Both these schemes would invest a minimum of 95% and a maximum of 100% of their assets in securities covered by the underlying indices, which are the Nifty Mid Cap 150 Index and the Nifty Small Cap 250 Index, respectively. The funds will invest up to 5% in money market instruments like uh, commercial papers, commercial bills, the treasury bills, tri-party repo, government securities having an unexpired maturity of up to one year etc. Talking about the risks, as these schemes propose to invest not less than 95% of the net assets in the securities of the underlying index, regardless of their investment merit, the schemes could be exposed to higher levels of volatility and market risk than would generally be the case in a more diverse fund portfolio of equity securities. Let's see the product labeling for SBI Midcap 150 Index Fund now. This product is suitable for investors who are seeking long-term capital appreciation and investment in securities covered by Nifty Midcap 150 Index. The investors must understand that their principal will be at very high risk. Now let's see the product labeling for SBI Small Cap 250 Index Fund. So this product is suitable for investors who are seeking long-term capital appreciation and investment in securities covered by Nifty Small Cap 250 Index. As per the riskometer, the investors understand that their principal will be at very high risk. In the table on the screen, you can now check the performance of some of the other schemes by SBI mutual funds. You can read the education details, the past experience and the other schemes under management of Mr. Harsh Sethi on the screen. Well, the next NFO about which we are going to talk about is ICICI Prudential Auto Index Fund. Well, the benchmark for this fund is the Nifty Auto Try, the fund manager are Mr. Kaizad Eglim and Mr. Nishit Patel. The minimum investment amount is rupees 1000 and in multiples of 1 and the NFO open and close dates are 22nd September to 6th of October 2022. So let's talk about the fund now. 
Right from two wheelers and three wheelers to commercial vehicles, we are all witnessing the evolution of the auto industry. With a focus on green energy, the auto industry is under disruption. Moreover, with the pandemic loosening its grip on the country and planet as a whole, the production and sales of passenger vehicles are on the rise and have grown to new heights in August 2022. With a growing population, rising income and pandemic-induced lifestyle changes, the automotive seems to be on a roll. The industry seems to contribute massively to the growth of our country's economy. And that is the philosophy behind introducing this fund, that is to ride the transformation of the automobile industry via this scheme. Moreover, the sector being inherently cyclical, the scheme aims to perform well when the market opportunities and demand rises. So how will the fund house select the companies for its investment? This is an open-ended fund which will mimic the Nifty Auto Index, which is intended to represent the performance of the automotive industry in India. The index includes 15 listed companies and also covers auto-related industries such as auto ancillaries and tires. The scheme allocates a minimum of 95% and a maximum of 100% of its total assets in equity and equity-related securities of companies constituting the Nifty Auto Index. It might also invest a maximum of 5% in money market instruments. According to a press release from the fund house, no single stock shall have more than 33% weight and the weight of the top three stocks cumulatively shall not be more than 62% at the time of rebalancing. The index is rebalanced semi-annually in March and September. Mahindra and Mahindra, Maruti Suzuki India and Tata Motors are the top three holdings in the index with the respective weights of 19.9%, 19.2% and 13.4%. Nifty Auto Index has grown at 14.21% annually since August 2012. Rupees 1 lakh invested in the Nifty Auto Index in 2012 would be worth Rupees 3 lakh 77,713.6 by the end of August 2022. The product labeling for ICICI Prudential Auto Index Fund is what we're going to talk about now. Alright, so ICICI Prudential Auto Index Fund, which is an open-ended index scheme replicating Nifty Auto Index, is suitable for investors who are seeking long-term wealth creation and an index fund that seeks to track returns by investing in a basket of Nifty Auto Index stocks and aims to achieve returns of the stated index subject to tracking error. In the table on the screen, you can now check the performance of some of the other schemes by ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. You can now read the educational details, past experience and schemes under management of the fund managers. Well, the last NFO in the series about which we are going to talk about is Aditya Birla Sun Life Multi-Index FOF. Talking about the funds, well, the investors' needs are very simple, reasonable and consistent returns, the convenience of investing and tax efficiency. However, the markets are very dynamic and at any one point in time, the performing asset classes change. Whether it be equities, fixed income securities or commodities such as gold or silver, there is a plethora of options when it comes to investments, which makes an average investor very overwhelmed. So where to invest, when to invest, which is the best scheme though? Well, Fund of Fund provides a credible solution to these pain points for both investors and advisors. A Fund of Funds in simple terms is a mutual fund which utilizes its pool of resources to invest in various other kind of mutual funds available in the market. These funds can invest across funds, across geographies and asset classes. This is what ABSL's multi-index FOF aims to achieve. It is an open-ended fund of fund schemes investing predominantly in exchange-traded funds and index funds. So how will the fund house select companies for investments? The scheme seeks to generate capital appreciation by investing in passively managed instruments such as the ETFs and index funds of equity and equity related instruments like the domestic index funds and ETFs as well as overseas ETFs, fixed income securities and gold or silver. The fund aims to provide an investor with reasonable returns with higher consistency while managing the downside risk across market cycles. The 
fund house has an in-house model for determining optimal asset allocation encompassing market cycles through which they plan to allocate their resources in passive schemes across asset classes. Here is how the portfolio will be constructed. And the optimal asset allocation is decided keeping in mind the macro parameters through robust fund management using the help of their in-house valuation model. The product labeling for Adit Tibirla Sun Life Multi Index FOF is what we're gonna see right now. Well, in the table on the screen, you can now check the performance of some of the other schemes by Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund. You can also read the educational details, the past experience and other schemes under management of the fund manager. Well, we have come to the conclusion now. So these were the four NFOs which are open for subscription and soon would get closed. Guys, please note that this is not a fund recommendation but purely for informational purposes. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to share. Guys, we bring quality content for you on a regular basis. To receive more updates related to the mutual funds, please do not forget to subscribe to Gross Mutual Fund channel. Bye-bye. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.